Hello, boys and girls. My name is Otto C, and welcome back to season 37 of my FTL series. FTL stands for Faster Than Light, and it is a survival game. You have to fight your way uh, through uh, seven space sectors until you get to the eighth one, where the boss fight is waiting. And we are here in the Mantis Cruiser layout C. And Mantis is uh, this race here, looking a bit like uh, ants. Um, they're quite feisty when it comes to fighting. They're fast, not so good at repairing stuff. And we shall go to this distress here, as we found nothing at the uh, current system and this dress can be a trap or it can be a good thing so we got the quest here let's see if we can make it but there is another distress here uh, okay giant spiders um, those are not good so we leave that quest alone and move on to the next distress call okay we can send the crew um, which I think um, puts up the risk that we lose a crew member uh, we can dock and rescue. Um, seeing that we have a clone bay, I think we can, we should be able to clone any uh, lost crew members back, but didn't lose any, which is good as well. And let's go down here. And by the way, the way uh, we manage to fight and survive is um, by upgrading our ship and doing that is by um, collecting scrap here which is basically the, the currency in this game okay let's go here they have a laser and a beam weapon, but the beam weapon can only damage us if their uh, if our shield is down. So that's basically never, at least this early in the game. All right, so their clone bay is down. But occasionally it does happen. Right, and we got a bit of scrap and another crew member, which is another Mantis, which is a good thing. And then we can store their current positions here. And move on. Okay, here we have different options. Uh, we can uh, uh, buy some services or we can fight the ship and we will do the latter. And we will go in with two Montes boarding crew. They have um, an engine. They are good at repairing, uh, but not really that strong physically. And especially against a Montes, they do not stand a chance. 
So let's bring those back and uh, as we cannot heal um, our crew with a clone bay, uh, we can suffocate them and clone them back. And that way we get them back at full health, but they lose a bit of their uh, experience they uh, gain over time. So here you can see our engine has a bit of uh, repair skill earned. Uh, our uh, Lanius, who sucks out um, air from the uh, system, has fighting skill and repair skill. And Ryan has fighting skills. So let's go down here. Okay, we will intervene, and this one is an uh, automated ship, which means. They do not have air within their ship, so uh, boarding with the uh, Lanius, that's the thing to do. And then we should be good. Okay, that got the first weapon done. Second will probably take a while as uh, the ship is only destroyed if all the uh, hull points are used up and destroying one system will use up one hull point. So we will be here a while until we have destroyed enough systems and they will repair them, so we can have another go. And there you saw, just uh, uh, got more skilled in, uh, in fighting. They are down to uh, three hull points. Okay, let's go back to the weapons and then probably piloting again. One hull point, so they should go boom pretty soon. Yep, and it's a double reward, and we clone our uh, Lanius back, and up here, this is the scrap, then here we have the fuel, missiles, and drone parts. And let's go into the nebula. Nebula can be a bit tricky, uh, but usually you get uh, the, the fleet um, does not follow that fast. So um, that's a plus anyway.
Okay. Both died at the same time. <clears throat> Does not happen too often. Um, maybe have a bit of oxygen in the rest of the ship. And then we make sure once again that um, the crew that we have is in best health. Right. And here we have an iron storm, which means part of our energy is strained. So um, we have to um, see how we can manage. Uh, we could purchase an uh, unknown weapon here for 45 scrap, but usually that's not something um, um, that I want to use. So, it's not really uh, um, worth it. Okay. A human and a rock. And we get a Glyph Beam out of it. Glyph Beam is a pretty good weapon. And I will explain you why. If we have a look at it, the uh, Glyph Beam, it requires four power, but it does three uh, damage per room. Uh, it can slide uh, across multiple rooms, and that means um, it can penetrate two levels of uh, shields. So, that's probably better than anything we do have. And then let's see. One jump, two jump, it's not three jumps. So let's go to the quest and then to the exit. Okay. Let's use a three man boarding party again. Um, that should be fairly easy. Yep. Bring them back. And start working here on repairing in a vacuum. Right, so we have a bit of scrap. We got ourselves uh, a weapon, or more than one weapon, um, if we have a look here. Um, this one requires two power, the Glyph Beam requires four power. So let's try to make this happen. We need uh, two weapon slots. Um, plus power and then we can have this and this way we can have uh, um, a fight where our boarding approach does not work because there are times when it's just better not to board. And here we could repair but we are pre still in pretty good shape and we don't have the scrap to spare so uh, let's skip that and uh, have a look where we shall go next. Um, 
and I think uh, between Sultan controlled and rock controlled, let's go rock controlled. That's a bit better when it comes to a boarding approach. So see you there in the next episode. Until then, goodbye.